Hi, this is Steve with Double Reno Woodworking. So today I'm finally going to get started putting the machine together. And the first thing I have to do is get my bench put together. Uh, the people at Craig Tools were nice enough to send me a 44 by 44 inch Craig workbench that I'm going to use as my base for my CNC machine. Uh, in exchange for that, I'm going to do an assembly video and they'll do a review of it. I really appreciate the people at Craig Tools sending me this bench. So let's start getting everything opened up and we'll get it all laid out. We're gonna do some of the assembly out here on my workbench and then we'll take it inside to the garage and do the final assembly on it. Okay, so this thing comes together in three boxes. And these here, say 44 inches, so I'm sure these are my rails. So there's four of the rails, which you're gonna have, I guess, four rails for the top four rails for the shelf area in the middle of the board. Okay, so we got we got all eight rails. And then we got this is gonna be the legs. And the legs are adjustable and that's one of the things you'll see in a minute when we get it inside the garage. My uh garage has got a step off and so the front part of the legs of this is going to be off in the bottom lower part of the garage and the other ones are going to be at the top so that's going to work out good now i'll show you when i start doing the assembly inside there how that's going to work okay. 31 inch legs it's just going to be it's a little shorter than what I was thinking this was going to be. And I haven't found any hardware yet. I'm assuming all the hardware is going to be in here. And I figure out how to open the thing first. There we go. It's all going to come out the end. There's the adjustable legs. There's some of the hardware. So the legs. I guess it even comes for uh, screws for driving the putting your tabletop in. So we got, uh, I'm assuming these are the nuts for the adjustable legs, which that of course be the last thing we put on. And these are the nuts and washers, or sorry, the bolts and nuts for assembling the leg assemblies. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go grab my tools and then we'll start putting this thing together. Okay, so tool wise, all you really need, you need a half inch socket or wrench, whatever you want for these nuts here. And then you need a three quarter inch, uh, two three quarter inches wrench, two three quarter inch wrenches, uh, adjustable wrench, and a three quarter inch wrench will work just fine. And that's basically for when you go to put your legs on or your uh, adjustable feet on there. So the first thing that you need to do on this thing is you want to put together your ends. And if you're doing a, if you got a, a rectangular shaped bench, you want to do the ends, of course, with your short rails. Uh, mine's 44 by 44, so it doesn't matter which rails I use. And if you look at these things, everything's stamped out pretty much foolproof where you can't put it together wrong. So if you look right here on these rails, it's got the ob uh, offset square holes. The legs have offset square holes. You can't put it on the wrong end because this is set up for the adjustable legs, or for, I'm sorry, for the feet part that go on that the adjustable legs go on to. So you can't really do it wrong. So right here, right here. So we'll go ahead and put a couple uh, nuts and bolts in that. And it has to go in from the outside. It's not gonna allow you to go in from the other side. It'll only go one way, so it's pretty foolproof. Flip this around where you can see it better. Now 
And I'm just going to snug all this stuff up because we have to square it all up. That's the other tool that you're going to need too. You're going to need a square once you get going. So I'll just go ahead and get these things just a little bit snug where it'll just at least stay together. And we'll come back and square it up before we tighten it. So that one goes on there. And this one's going to go on here. It's got these offset square holes, offset square holes. So it could basically can only go, go in one place. So Might have been an easier way to do this. Just do it from underneath. All you gotta do is lift it up and get the bolt through there, then you can put the nuts on. Okay, so I'm just gonna just barely snug these down because I'm gonna come back in and do some adjusting on them. Okay, now obviously this was a, a way easier way to do this. Lay these things with the insides up, put your screws in from or your bolts in from underneath, put your nuts on. That was a whole lot quicker. So now I just need to square these things up. So my square is kind of big, but it will fit in here. So basically I'm just putting it inside these rails right here and just making a little adjustments to let thing look square. That's pretty basic there. And once I get them square, Then I just cinch these, these bolts back down a little bit. Double check it one more time. That looks pretty good. So cinch them down good. So basically I'm gonna go around and do this with all this corner, this corner, and then I'll go back and double check it this way too, just to be safe. Let's go ahead and check that one. That looks good there, so I can tighten these two down. So I'll do this around on all four corners, then I'll move it into the garage and we'll put the other rails on the sides. Okay, so I got these things moved into the garage now. So I got one of my ends laying down flat. And basically what we're gonna do is just gonna attach our side rails. And it's the same technique we used before. You just line these holes up. And stick a bolt through here. put a nut on there. So I know this video is already pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll attach one of these on here and then I'll just fast forward attaching the other ones on here. Well, that's all there is to it. We'll just put all four of these on and then we'll uh, take the other end, sit it on top and then attach those bolts on there. Then we just have to square it up, tighten it down. Okay, so now we got these things all attached. We need to square these up too. So I'm just gonna put my square flat down here in this end rail, or I guess on the leg, and then butt that thing up and then just snug these two down. This would be a little easier with two hands, but you can make it work with one. That well, looks pretty good. I'll 
check that one more time. That looks good and square. And give that a good Okay, so I'm gonna go around and do all four of these and then I'll reset up and we'll put the top on. Okay, so we got all those on and tightened down and squared. So now you just basically take your other end rail and you're just gonna sit it on here. Get them all on the inside. Go ahead and get a couple nuts and bolts going in there. I think I'm just going to get one in each one to start with. Just to keep it all in place. And this should, this end should square itself, but I'll go ahead and put the square on it just to double check it and make sure. Okay, so I got all that on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the uh, nuts and bolts in this one. I'll go ahead and double check it for square on this end and then we'll be ready to put the feet on it. Okay, so we're ready to start putting the legs on now. So you basically you got two nuts, two bolts on each corner, one, two in here and two in here. And these things are adjustable to a degree. So, and uh, I showed you earlier, I had the step off. So the back legs are gonna be up on that ledge. The front legs are gonna be off of it. So I wanna make my, these are gonna be my front legs. So I wanna make those as long as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go, I really wanna spread these out. So I think I'm gonna go, cause I can, yeah, I can go almost all the way down there. So I'm going to go wherever my first, my second hole, because I want to spread them out. I don't want to put them right next to each other just for stability. So I'm going to go there. And these two holes. Oops, can't put a bolt on a bolt. I need a nut. So I got those two on there. I don't want that slid up as far as I can get it. Yeah, I'm not still gonna I'm still gonna be able to hit the same two holes. Actually, yeah, yeah. So there's the first and the third hole on this one too. That magnetic thing keeps you from losing stuff, but sometimes it's hard to get those things out of there. So you'll see when I do this back one exactly what I'm doing here as far as making them different connections or different heights. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that one maxed out at that so the other side should be real easy to do to end up with the same height. I'll just snug these down. And by the way, too, I know I fast forwarded for that other part that uh, when I put the second end on, when, you know, attached it to the rails, it did square itself up. I figured it would. I really didn't even have to do any adjusting on it. It squared itself up. Okay, so I got that. Snug those down good. Okay, now let's go back to this other one which is gonna be my back leg, which needs to be shorter. Okay, so this is my back leg here. And I measured from this rail to the top of that leg over there, it was 11 and a half inches. So I need this leg to be three and a half inches shorter than the front one. And that should pretty much level the table out. And then I've got my leg levelers that I can get it perfect with. So what I really want here, so I got 11 and a half up there. I want uh, eight and a half here. 
that'll be perfect. So I can hit any of these three bolts, so I'll just spread them out as much as I can and get inside that rail. I'll go there. I think it will. Uh, it's eight and three quarters, but I don't know that I can really go any lower and spread them out. Yeah, I can. I can go. Uh, I can go in this hole. That's what I liked about this. It's one of the reasons I really like this bench. Is it, it's going to give me these options to adjust this thing however I want it. And if you're setting one of these things up in your garage, you, you very well could have the same situation. I know a lot of garages have this. It's basically to keep, you know, if you get flooding in your garage, it's to keep it from running into the house. So that should give me that adjustment that I need to get that at eight and a half inches. That's eight and a half right there. And let me grab my wrench. So I'll go ahead and snug that up. Double check that one more time. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got my I've got my uh, levelers on there that I'll have quite a bit of adjustment with those. So it's windy day outside. Okay, so now I'll just put my other two bolts in here. Again, spread them out. My two holes. And the other thing, these legs, the way these, these feet come on this thing, you can, you have some play probably, probably a, well, that's a pretty good, I could have gone a little bit higher on that other one. So you got probably about four inches of difference on how high you want to make your table too, depending on what your application is. So you got four inches, probably you can adjust with just these and you probably got another two or three inches you can adjust for the leg levelers. So we'll go ahead and put the two leg levelers on the, on this side and then we'll, I'll go back to the other side and we'll flip it over and see what it looks like up in the, up against the wall. Okay, so this thing comes with four leg levelers and it comes with eight of these three quarter inch nuts. And I've already measured this. This thing's four inches, four inches of, travel of adjustment in that thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one nut in with the washer side up and I'm gonna put it basically square in the middle. That way it gives me lots of adjustment room. So. And it'll give me a good starting point for it to be relatively level if my floor was to be level, which I'm sure it's not. So, okay, so I'm, I'm uh, two inches from the top of this nut to the top of this flange. So that's where I'm gonna start with. Basically, I drop that in there, put my other nut with the locking washer. Okay, so I got that snugged up on there. And then I just put my, put my three quarter inch wrench on the bottom. You need two three quarter inches or 
adjustable wrench and snug that down. So that's how you put the level and feed on. Nothing to that. So I'm going to go around and put the other uh, the leg pieces on and all the adjustable legs. And then we'll flip it over and put it up on the wall. Okay, so I got all the legs on. I got the feet on. So it's time to we'll flip it over and we'll put it up on the shelf and see how good we did on guessing on what our heights needed to be to accommodate for this drop off. Probably about where it'll sit once the table's put on there. Okay, let's see how good we did on getting it level. It's maybe a less than a quarter inch off that way. And it's square up level that way. So even just measuring those nuts at two inches made it pretty well level. So all you gotta do if you need to adjust it just loosen those nuts, turn those legs, adjust those legs till you get it leveled out good. Uh, I'm gonna wait, I'll probably wait to level it out when I get my top on it. So I wanna show you a few more things on this before we finish this video. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you on this, this these things, they thought of a lot of stuff when they built these things. So it's got these holes here and there's one down here. So I'm gonna lay a piece of MDF across the top of this and then I'll just come in and they even provided you some, I'm assuming those are wood screws. Uh, they said eight by three quarter coarse combo. Uh, I'm assuming they're wood screws to screw in. So basically you just lay your top on it and you put a screw in from underneath, screw up into your tabletop. And then I'm also gonna put a shelf on this lower level here. So I've got holes for that to mount a shelf on. And then if you look back here in these corners, You've got all these other holes in here, so I'm going to put. I'm actually going to put a back since this could be for a CNC router. I'm going to mount a. I'm going to mount a back over here, a side over here, and a side over here to keep the dust out. And this will be open. This thing will be open right here in the front, and I'll have my controller sitting down in here, and we'll put a shelf for my keyboard and all that. So it should help keep dust out from inside here. So they really thought of a lot of things on it. Uh, it's a quality build from from the start. I mean, easy to put together. The paint job is flawless on it. Uh, the really only part that takes any skill whatsoever, and it's a very low level that it requires, is to square the thing up as you're putting it together. But it's, it's easy to do. I mean, and it came out perfect. Everything, I didn't have to pull or push or prod anything. Everything just bolted right together. All the hardware is there. They really did a great job engineering this thing out. So I got one last thing to do before we finish up. Last thing I have left to do is put my Craig sticker on. There we go. She's all done. I just gotta get my wood on it and ready to start building my CNC machine on top. Uh, I wanted to thank Craig Tool again. Uh, I really appreciate them sending me this. It's a, it's a great table. I, I, you know, I debated early on whether to build my own table or to buy a table. And uh, I decided that this would be a better choice just because it's quality, you know, and I, I, that's kind of what I want to do with my woodworking. And, and I just, I like associating myself with, with good companies. and. Uh, I was lucky enough. I sent them a sent them a letter, showed my YouTube channel and what I was doing, and they were kind enough to send me a table. So I really do appreciate it. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you. Bye.